Hello, friends and family. Welcome to another Adventures in Heroes of the Storm. So today, um, I'm on the last bit of this quest, and I need deal two. I need to deal two hundred thousand damage, thousand hero damage in winning games. Uh, when I think about anyone that deals just an ass load of damage, I go for Kalthos. So let's go ahead and jump into a game. Alright, here we are on the Warhead Junction map. Uh, friendly team, Kalthos, Asmodan, Junkrat, Yurel, and Lili. Uh, enemy team, Vala, Thrall, Rexar, Orphea, and Deckard. Deckard, Kane. Um, so, first level talent, we will be taking uh, Mana Addict. Uh, Kalthos is always out of mana. That is a fact, and no one can tell you otherwise. Um, so we will be getting a lot of regen globes um, as much as possible. Unfortunately, this is a hard level to do that uh, because <laughs> we cannot go between lanes. Um, on a smaller map, it's much easier to do. But we can, you know, just sit in one lane and just kind of do it ourselves here. Come on, kill throw. Oh, all right. Uh, Kalthos' abilities, uh, his Q, uh, puts a little ring on the ground and explodes in fire. It's a lot of fun. Uh, his W is Living Bomb. You put it on something, after a few seconds it explodes. It's pretty simple. Uh, and then his E is something that you throw a whirlwind and you kill someone. Just like that. Uh, it's a stun. It lifts someone off the ground and then you can just kind of pack at them. Uh, his trait, I will say, is called Verdant Spheres. When you hit it, you get to get a different attack out of your abilities. Uh, so for my Q, it increases the size of the Fire Blast. Makes it that big. Uh, when you do it and you use your W, it gives you a free one. Uh, so it's always good to use it for that. Um, and then your E, uh, I think it does... Uh, I think it hits more people. I don't know, I hardly use it for that because Gravity Elapse is just kind of something I do to save myself is sort of your only defensive ability, other than just being a wave of damage. That's Kalthos' defense, killing everyone. So the two you want to use the most are the Flame Strike in order to clear lanes and the, fi and the uh, Fire Bomb to use it on the enemy to make them go away from you. So Junkrat and I in this lane should be able to push this pretty hard. I'm going to go up here and get the Vision. See, look, she just walked away. She was like, oh, I don't want this. Of course you don't. So, as long as we continue pushing this lane, getting these globes, we'll be all right. Uh, second level, we're going to get Mana Tap, uh, which means that every single time that we use our trait, we gain a little bit of mana back. Um, doesn't sound like much, but when Kalatos needs every little bit, it certainly helps. Poor Deckard, man. He can't do anything against us. Like, Orpheus pretty good at damage, but she cannot deal with this right now. Gonna throw that on that. Get rid of that wall. Man, I really want that glow, but I can't do... Can't get it right now. Who took this vision? It's my vision. You can't have it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. It's fall. I need to leave. By the way, Kalthos has made a paper. If you decide that you want to go in on something, you better have a team with you. That's it. So, like, right here, Junkrat should be covering me. At least I hope he does. And you get a glow from that, so that's always fun. So, I'm actually going to go down and use it on this one right here. I can do... It can use it safely from right over there, too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Misha, don't touch me. Misha, get off. Okay, Yorel's got a uh, warhead, so we're going to help her use that. There we go. Look at that. Yes, Kalthos is a very, very fun mage, and he only scales the more that you go on. Oh, that sucks. Um... 
So on this one, I usually go for burned flesh. Uh, if you hit more than uh, two, pe if you hit two or more people within your flame strike, you get a lot of damage off of it. So just uh, invite, uh, just uh, incentivize you to try to get as many people as possible. Let's go up and get this vision. Oh man, we almost got a kill off of that too. And see, that's what Kael'thas does. When he sees you, he kills you. Just, just the way of the Nexus. So I only have seven. <laughs> I only have seven of my uh, of my quest here, which is not great. Junk right, you got to back up there, dude. Throw that over there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Am I dead? I just was gonna come out with it. Oh boy. Yeah, when Orphea chases you, there's not much you can do. Unfortunately, my uh, Warwind gravity lapse is what it's called. Unfortunately, that was on cooldown, so I cannot defend myself. Honestly, I feel like Junkrat should have left a little bit sooner than that, but I was sticking with it. So they're heading out in top lane. Uh, Yurel, Yurel's doing alright. Oh, are they getting this? Oh, yeah, you know what? Rexar might be uh, taking camps. Because I don't see him right now. Oh, he's getting that one. That's right, we can get this. Uh, it's good for Kael'thas to get camps because they always give you regen globes as well. So you can really help yourself getting, getting ahead on your... Uh, uh, mana attic talent really early. No, no, don't do it. Stop touching me. Let's go get this vision. Hopefully, nobody's up here. My gravity lapse is off cooldown. So, I am going to go for Pyroblast because I want to kill that follow so bad. So what Pyroblast does is it marks someone for death, pretty much. Uh, you choose somebody and you point a Pyroblast orb at them, and it will travel to the edge of the earth to kill them. Yeah, we're coming, we're coming. I'm gonna go and do it on Thrall. Thrall's gonna explode. Alright, Lily should grab that. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. Oh, come on, Deckard. Come here, Deckard. Hopefully Lily. Lili... Oh, Lily did not. Oh god, Thrall's here. Ah! That's alright. So Lily took hers... Oh, okay, Lily must have put her warhead here. Not the best idea, but that's alright. We at least took the warhead from them, and that's that's the idea. Lily and Asbidan should be able to push this down just fine. Uh, Rexar is coming up, so we should warn them about that. Oh, your was there. I didn't even see her. Alright, I am actually on my way over there. Lily coming out with the cup. Should keep them alive. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm coming up. I'm coming up. Go ahead and put that on Thrall. We're going to put that Pyroblast on Thrall as well. Should be able to kill him. There we go. Oh, get her, get her. Boom, done. That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. 
Oh, it's gonna push us down. It's so close. Let's see. Uh, I usually do. I usually do fishing bomb. This increases the radius of the uh, living bomb. Uh, I'm gonna stick with these guys because they're a little bit, a little bit dangerous over here. Get the globe. Oh, thank you, Deckard. Let's go ahead and over here and help Asmodan. I say help, but I'm literally just here to uh, take the globes. There we go. I only need three more globes, and then I will be, then I will finish my quest. When you do finish your level one quest, you get something called a mana shield. Oh, it got her. Oh no, put it on Misha. Thrall's here, what's he doing? Thrall, get over there. I need somebody for a Pyroblast. I need somebody to use a Pyroblast on. Alright, Thrall's not gonna die from that, but <laughs> we got Misha though. Oh, I'm a little out of place. Alright, Lily just used her cup, so we should be getting out of here. And I completed my quest. So now I have something called a mana shield. It takes my maximum mana and turns it into a shield. It only lasts a little bit, so it's not perfect. But, it can take off a lot of damage. Alright, not that much damage. Of course, that's what happens when Orphea and Thrall jump on you. So they're getting that. Lily. Oh, your was bottom. Oh, she got that. Okay. Your should be able to make out of there. She can sustain herself pretty well. And she can also do that and just get the hell away. Whatever. Lily and Deckard and Orphea are fighting over this. Unfortunately, Lily is going to sustain herself way too well for them to do much about it. Uh oh, Rexor's there now. Back up, back up, back up. <laughs> get out of there, girl. You don't want to be there. Alright, Jockrat, Asmodan, and I are all back. But unfortunately, they are going to get that warhead. If we're lucky, they use it in the middle and do just about nothing. Kind of thinking the next team wipe we get, we should be going boss. Ah! Let me get out of here. Oh, there's Vala, there's Vala, there's Vala. Come on, guys, this Hunter. There we go. Fire Blast on her. Done. Alright, so now we are going to go with Ignite. Flame Strike applies Living Bomb. So, whatever hero gets hit by Living Bomb or closest to the center, he will, or, or to Flame Strike, he will always get a Living Bomb applied to him or her. Um, do we think they're going boss? Yeah, they might be going boss. They might be baiting it, but that's all right. Um, oh, Rexar's going boss. Okay. Now, now that he knows, we should. Yeah, he left. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'll find him. There he is. Get him. Oh boy. Oh. Don't put this on Deckard. There we go, there we go. Use, use Mana Shield to make sure I can get out of here. And, uh, yeah, we can we can get out. We can leave. There's no point in fighting this too much. I should mention that the Mana Shield uh, does not cap. So even if you get your 20 and you get Mana Shield, you can increase it by getting more stacks. So never stop getting regen globes of scale thoughts. You always want them. Whether it be for extra mana, for extra health, or just to sustain yourself, you should always be getting them. Damn it, Rexor's doing his job over here. You might be able to find him, actually. 
He's stalking around here somewhere. There he is. Oh, it's Thrall. What? It's all right. Pyro Blast. Oh, he got out of range. Come on, Lily. Let's get him. Let's get him. Ah, no, he he left. Uh, I'm gonna go clean up this. Never mind. I don't need to. Do we want to do this? I really don't. But if the team's doing it. The team's doing it. So this is one of the most deadly bosses in the game. Just for taking it, not even for uh, fighting against it. Because all that poison does a lot of damage. Pyro Blast on Deckard. Nope. Get him, get him, get him. There we go, there we go. Mono Shield, keep myself alive. Alright, and now we can continue taking this boss. Completely unfettered. All right, so now they might have gotten the nuke off, but we got boss. And now we're going to go kill this follow. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, there she is. There she is. Oh, she popped her ult. Oh, she's dead. She's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, use that smoke to your advantage. If you can make sure to keep vision away from people like Vala, absolutely do it. Um, at this point, I end up taking Flamethrower. Uh, so this one increases the range of Flame Strike by 40%. So with this, I can now cast my Flame Strike all the way out here. Which means I can I can apply a living bomb from all the way out there. There we go, kill, kill Deckard. Now we can go ahead and- oh shit, Thrall's after me, Thrall's after me. Now I can get him, get him. We can probably push to win here. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go, that's it. That was a quick game, how- 16 minutes. Now, I doubt I got much hero damage. Rock play of the game, not bad. Wow, she didn't. She has zero kills and zero deaths. But she dealt a lot of siege. <laughs> the hero was kind of sitting down bottom alone for a while, so I'm not surprised. So, let's see how much hero damage we did. So 48,000, not too shabby. Like I said, it was only a 16 minute game, so that's that's kind of what you get. But leading in kills with nine kills, so which pretty much means that Living Bomb was there and then they didn't get away. <laughs> that's all that that means. Um, I died three times, but when you're made of paper, it's just kind of kind of what happens. So uh, let's go over the talents. Uh, level one, get Mana Addict, so that way uh, I can get the Mana Shield when I get 20 globes. Mana Tap to restore 4% of Kael'thas' maximum mana, which ties in pretty well because uh, whenever you get a regen globe, it increases the maximum mana by 15, so so those two tie in pretty well together. And then when you get your 20 globes, uh, you activate the Arcane Barrier to give you 100% of maximum mana. So the more money you get, the bigger shields you get, and then you can also restore more by mana tap. So one in four is where you, is where you really, really set up kind of the rest of the game. Uh, flame strike, uh, just to get more damage off of your, off of your flame strikes. Pyroblast. Uh, Pyroblast is my favorite, but Phoenix works really, really well just for zoning people out. Uh, Fission bomb. Um, level thirteen is all living bomb stuff. I just take that one just to uh, increase the the radius a little bit. Um, just. If your enemy team isn't quite aware of how to deal with the Living Bomb, that can really, really affect them. Um, Ignite impl uh, applies the Living Bomb, so with all the damage that we're doing with Flame Strike, uh, with Burn Flesh, we're also uh, making uh, <laughs> making it apply Living Bomb, which has an increased radius, so those tie well together. Uh, and then Flamethrower, so I can just put Flame Strikes from a mile away. So that is uh, my personal favorite build for Kalthos. I'm sure that there are some better ones out there. But that's what I like to do. So um, uh, if you like this video, or if you're watching this on Twitch, make sure to follow. If you're, if you're watching it on YouTube, make sure to like.
uh, like, subscribe, and uh, ring the bell. That's the thing. I always forget to do that. Um, I should be editing these videos down to make them a, a, a little, a little bit uh, more watchable, I guess. But um, I'm having a lot. Of, I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing some heroes. It's been, it's been fun. Um, so yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.